Hello and welcome to my tutorial in how to make a hoglin farm here in the nether in Minecraft 1.16. I'm currently running with the snapshot 20w12a. Now a quick thing to note, in the last snapshot 20w11a, the game actually crashes further on when we're actually killing the hoglins. Um, that bug should have been fixed now and it doesn't crash for me anymore and, and the bug status on the um, bug page is now fixed so i assume that it has been fixed and no longer will crash don't worry if anything happens in the following snapshots or versions i will be sure to update you guys in the description title and also leave a comment on the video um if necessary i'll even make an updated video but yeah that uh, that's that's what we're gonna be doing today so let's get right to it so first off what you want to do is you want to get to a crimson forest biome you can see the biome right here by pressing f3 and what you want to find is a lava area like this. Basically what you will be looking for is a area, a two by two chunk area that doesn't have any uh, spawnable place on it. Now it doesn't, the area doesn't have to be super, super perfect. I have tried these farms before and you don't have to be super precise, but of course the more precise you are, um, yeah, the better. But anyways, let us take a look here. You can see chunks by holding down an F3 and pressing G. And we can see the uh, chunks right here. This yellow cage is basically a chunk. And I think this area is pretty good. So if I place myself right here, if I'm the radius right here. So if I go two chunks ahead, this area is clear. Go two chunks back and then go two chunks in this direction. This area is clear. Go two chunks back and then two chunks in this direction. This seems pretty good. I think I even went too far there. And two chunks in this direction. We are looking pretty good. Also do be aware of caves that might be nearby. But anyways, let us get right to that. I think I'm gonna put mine right here. I think this is an okay spot. We do have that uh, right here, which isn't ideal. So I think I'm gonna move, yeah, I'm gonna move over here. This is better. And yeah, let's get to it. So press F3 and we wanna get to the Y level 121. That will basically make us a uh, face bedrock right in front of us. Uh, okay, no mind. The bedrock does start on this level while right here above our heads. So this is where we want to be. This is the bedrock right here and you will find it on this level right here. Now what you want to do is leave the chute, but because you will need that for later. So I'm just going to mark it. You don't need to put anything here, but I'm just going to mark it. It's going to make life easier. You can use a torch or anything. Now that we're up here, go 16 blocks in each direction. So that way, that way, that way, and that way. So I'm just gonna demonstrate. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And here you can see the bedrock, by the way, this is where it starts. And then I'm gonna go back 16 in this direction. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Now, if something like this happens, don't worry about it. Of course, this is a cave, so that is definitely not ideal, but it will be all right. Again, doesn't have to be super perfect. If you can find a better spot, then yeah, that's perfect. But for this tutorial sake, it will be fine. And uh, yeah, go 16 blocks in each direction. All right, so I have dug 16 blocks in each direction. And by the way, with that little cave over there. Um, after we've seen the farm active, I will head over there and then we will see how much of an impact it has actually had. Um, but yeah, of course, if you can find an area that doesn't have anything at all, well, the, the better it is, well, the better. But anyways, now we want these corner pieces gone. We basically want a flat area here. So we want these areas, uh, these corners gone. And the best way I feel is go to one of your um, tunnels and then see, so we have the other tunnel right here to our left. So go 16 blocks in this direction. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And turn to your left towards the other, the other tunnel. And then just keep going until you hit that tunnel. Right about here. Perfect. Now we have basically separated this block um, or this chunk right here, chunk of blocks. And I just feel like in survival, it is going to be a lot easier doing it that way instead of having to dig in and dig it out and stuff like that and having to keep an eye on the coordinates and stuff. 
I like to separate it and then I can just go to war with it. So do that with all of these and I'll be uh yeah, right back. I guess I'll I guess I'll show it with this one too. Again. Or doing it I'm gonna do it in the other direction now. So we have the the tone right there to our right. So sixteen, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. And then just keep going till you hit the tunnel. And there you go. Alright, so do that, clear them out, and I'll be right back. Alright, so now you should have an area that looks something like this. Now if something like this happens, well, then uh, just cover it up. Again, you can, if you find a place like this, just fill the entire thing in. I'm just going to cover it um, for right now, for the tutorial's sake. And uh, let's actually see how much of an impact it um, it have had. But yeah, go ahead and fill it all out if you want, or just block it off. And uh, yeah, at the end of this, we'll see how much of an actual impact it has had. But let's continue with this, cover this up, and I'll be right back. All right, so now it is on to, well, our shoot here. So what we're gonna need now is we will need some fence. So I'm just going to choose a little bit fence. We can also get some fence gates. You might not need them, but they're nice to have. And we're going to need some trap doors like so. Now we, what we want to do is place fence not here, but one block away from the hole like so. This is mainly because of the new um, 20W11A uh, snapshot, where I feel like the Hawklands has gotten a lot more range in their attacks and I would get smacked even though I stood in there so yeah that's no fun so give yourself some extra added protection right here and if you didn't know the Hucklins are uh, hostile towards you so yeah that is actually something that makes this farm very very easy what we want to do is actually take trapdoors and then put them on the ceiling all the way throughout. You don't have to press down shift in order to stay under them, but uh, this will prevent the piglins from spawning. So you were gonna need quite a lot, but um, if you only want hardlins spawning, then that's uh, that's what you gotta do. So put trap doors throughout the entire ceiling, and I'll show you how it should look. But anyways. Moving on, so right now we want to go down 16 blocks, including this block right here. Also, you're gonna get some ladders, by the way. You're gonna get some ladders, 15 in total. But we wanna go down 16 blocks, including this one. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. And we wanna stop on, there we go, perfect. Now what we want to do is dig out this area. Dig one block around the 3x3 three three area around your ladder. Leave the, area, leave the ladder open so you can see it. But what you want to do is around this 3x3 three three with the ladder right here, go out three blocks. So go out like this. So from this uh, ladder place, go three blocks out to the wall and the same over here like so, and the same over here. So three blocks in between, like so, and the same over here, of course. Like so, cool. You can now remove this, don't need it here. Now what we wanna do is take trap doors and we wanna put them let me think, we wanna put them not on that block, but on the, the block above it. So they are like so. All right, so do that all the way around, like so, like so, like so. And then we basically want even more. <laughs> so the thing I recommend, because sometimes maybe some item will be over there and you can't get to it. So what I recommend is hold down shift and then place them sideways all the way over like so, so that you can open it and then get to it like so, but it's still at the same level like the other. So I'm gonna do the same over here, like so. And 
and like that. Cool. This is where the Huglins will um, will stand, and we will be able to uh, to kill them. Put trap doors on this edge right here, because otherwise the Huglin babies will actually be able to go through. So you want to put some trap doors right here as well. That will prevent them from coming through. What we then want to do is we want to make a nut starting here. I'm a complete idiot. You need to go down. Not, don't go one block away from the fence. I'm an idiot. Go flush with the fence right there. That's what you gotta do. No space in between the fence and the hole. So do that all the way around and uh, yeah, I'll show you how it should look. And this is how it should look. Now what you then wanna do is you wanna take your trap doors again and then place them on the opposite block of the fence like so. And then what you want to do is just open them all up. Like so. And that will pretty much trick them into f being able to fall in. You also want to place trapdoors on this side of the um, of like the, the falling area here. <laughs> so place trapdoors on both sides of this falling hole right here. Just like so. I forgot to do that. All right, so that is pretty much the farm done. Now all we gotta do is go over here and now we just gotta activate it, quote unquote. So what we wanna do is go into escape, options, video settings, render distance, bloop, all the way down to two chunks, done, 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 and save and quit to title. And then we need to go back into the world like so. Come on, buddy, load up. There we go. Now we just gotta go down here for five minutes and uh yeah just sit here afk five minutes i'm gonna put a timer and we'll be right back and we'll see what has happened so stay tuned i'll be right back in five minutes all right it has been five minutes and as you can see we have two hoglins down here but that that's that's like nothing let's let's get up here and yeah it's it's still nothing let's get into video settings and up our end this is a quick thing to note if you up your rent distance and want to AFK again, you will need to do the same, uh, the trick again with lowering the, lowering it down to two chunks, getting out of the world and then getting back in for it um, to work. You can't up your rent distance and then lower it and then go AFK without exiting um, the world. But anyways, as you can see, we got a little bit of um, activity here. Now it doesn't seem as a whole lot, but once we actually kill them, you'll, you'll see what is actually going on here. Um, now, do keep in mind, well, now that we're in survival mode, that will cause them to pretty much go for us directly. Um, sometimes, ow, yep, yeah, do be careful of that, because they do have some range. I feel like that range is way too much, but, um, well, they have it. And now they're pretty much all down in the killing chamber. This guy doesn't see us, so... Oh, wow, did I not? Eh. I did not attach trap doors on the side. Future me went back in time and took good care of that. There we go. He fell down. Cool. Let's get down here and let me get... Alright, so I enchanted my sword with sharpness 5. Just because it's going to take a while to kill all these guys. Now, do still keep in mind that if you step too close... Yeah, you might get hit as well still. So, do keep your, your distance a little bit. Um, and yeah, just start smacking. I'm gonna do this and then I'll be right back. Also a quick note, I do not have looting um, on the sword. I do not have looting. You can see the champions right here. No looting. Alright, that is all of them. Now the cool thing is you can open these trap doors and you can pick up the items that you might not be able to reach from in here. So I'm just gonna do that. There's some pop over there and there we go. And that has resulted us in eight levels one stack and 13 raw pork chop right there and 13 leather for just AFKing in like five minutes. And I th I'm i pretty sure I've gotten like more from a from an AFK session. Um, so yeah, that, that in my opinion is not too bad. All right, so I actually forgot to show you guys the little cave that we have. I believe it's over here um, after AFKing for five uh, minutes here. And if we take a look, it's actually pretty clear. 
Um, there were some piglins in it before I started another test just to kind of reset it. Um, there's also another cave over here I found. Yeah, here we have some piglins that um, that spawned in. Um, I will s assume that they're in the render distance, the two render distance vicinity, I will assume. So yeah, just needed to show you guys that um, because I promised you and uh, yeah, moving on. But yeah, that is pretty much all there is to this farm. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned. If you have any questions or suggestions or anything like that, be sure to leave it down below in the comments. But yeah, that's going to be about it. Um, hope you enjoyed. Hope everything was understandable. And yeah, hope to see you in the next video. So have a wonderful day. Goodbye.